Yes, my people. We are still in the celebration mood. At least our first win of the season. Chelsea at the bridge. 3-0 against Luton yesterday. Well, today many of the matches already began. Tottenham, they are already up two goals to nil. Manchester United, their team sheet is out. Manchester United, their team sheet is out. And many of the matches we play today, the rest tomorrow. But I want to, I want to give you a quick update about what's happening around the transfer market. Because there, is, there, there has been a lot of traveling, traveling. CEOs, technical directors, scouts, there have been a lot of travelings around this week, this weekend, especially to London. Yes, yeah, so I want to give you a quick update. But before then, before then, I want you to watch these two 30 seconds, 30 second videos. I'll take your time and watch these two videos. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, now, you've seen it. The first one was about Todbole at a stadium yesterday with who? Romeo Lavia and Petrovic. Likewise, uh, Rhys James, they were at the VIP, the box, the presidential box. After watching the game, they were going out. You saw how excited they were. For our owner to be sitting with the players, that means he valued his investment. He valued his investment. He thought Bully and Cody knew exactly what they are doing. Seeing them walking out with the, with the players, it's, it, for me, it's, it's nice. It's exciting. It's exciting. So I just want you to watch that also. And that is what I've shown to you. Quickly to the market, transfer market. Yes. Today, as we speak, Roma executives, executive director, Tiago Pinto, is on the way to London to meet with Todd Bole regarding Romelu Lukaku. Romelu issued has been an abatross on Chelsea's neck, but we need to find a solution to the problem. Right now, as we speak, that issue is about to be resolved, hopefully by the close of day today, because Thiago Pinto is coming to London, most probably he's already in London even, to negotiate directly, direct with Todd Bole about Romelu Lukaku. We understand the player is willing to join Jose Moreno in Roma, AS Roma in Italy. The player has accepted that offer and he's willing to go. What is left out is how much Chelsea would like to take for him on a loan with an option to buy. That is a negotiation they will have to agree on. Then the player also accepting to re reduce his salary. It's very important. The 325 thousand pounds a week. Roma cannot pay it. And so the player will have to accept a, a pay slash. Then only the deal can go through. But we understand the player is willing. So let's hope that Chelsea will finally find a, get a solution today, by the close of today, for Romelu Lukaku, so that he'll be off our pay roll. Thank God for Jose Moreno in AS Roma. They are willing and they are in town to make the deal happen. Let's wait and see what will come out of that deal. Yes. So, Pochettino says he wants a striker who can play across the front line, but not an out-and-out out number nine. He wants a striker that can play across the front line. They are talking about profile of players, not just any striker. He's being specific. A striker that can play across the front line not an outright number nine striker. He could be in the form of number 10, who can also score number seven, that can also score, but a front line striker. Yes, according to the coach. That means that Chelsea are still busy in the market as we speak, looking for an out, looking out for a striker. And we understand they are still looking for attacking midfielder, which is the number 10 rule. Like I told you after our match, during our match review, that there was a distance, there was a gap between the, 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 the striker and our midfielders. 
That gap, you could see it very clearly that, that we lack number 10 row, number 10 player, in the form of Nkuku. That was why we were hoping that maybe, most probably should have signed um, 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 Kudus since we missed out on Olise. But Kudus, now we understand he's already in London for medical test. That is the news we are hearing. We, I'm not too sure. It's not yet confirmed. But we understand Kudus is on the way to London or he's already in London for, for medical test with West Ham. <coughs> Moses Casado versus Luton. Yesterday, his statistics came out. Yes, we got information about him that his statistics came out. And uh, he scored 58 out of 60 passes completed. 100% tackle success, success rate. 100% long ball success rate. Three interceptions. Two blocks. And ten over six, uh, six over ten total duels won. Yeah, this is about Moses Casado versus Luton. His performance yesterday, I was a bit critical. He started poorly, but he later grew into the game. Especially in the second half, he was better in the second half. But looking at this stats, 58 of 60 passes complete, 100% tackle success rate, 100% long ball success rate, three interceptions, two blocks made, six out of ten duels won. Dribble passed how many times? Zero. <laughs> so we move on to other news. Yeah, we understand Mohamed Kudus to West Ham. Here we go. Verbal agreement sale with Ajax. 45 million euro total package. Add-ons included plus sell-on clause. Players' five-year deal also agreed and medical booked on Saturday, which is today. Huge work by the new director team, Stelterden, waiting to sign documents in 48 hours. So Mohamed Kudus to West Ham. Here we go. It's done and still. Chelsea fans, uh, good luck another time. Maybe, we, maybe next year, next year we, we, can, we can buy him from, uh, from West Ham. Yeah. We, may, we can get him from West Ham. All right. David Einstein reports that Southampton direct swap with KRC Jenk between St. FC striker Paul Onwachu plus Jenk winger Joseph Pintel is now off. That deal is it's, it's off. Clubs reach agreement and aim to complete deal, valuing both at 8 million euros plus 2 million add-ons. But players have rejected the move. The, the two players that they want to swap, Southampton want to swap the player with a junk player. With a, yes. But both players rejected the deal that the two clubs are trying to. <laughs> so... Joseph Pinto is a Ghanaian. My, my Ghanaian brothers out there. Joseph Pinto was supposed to come to Southampton. Then uh, Onwachu, Paul Onwachu from Jenk was supposed to go to, from uh, Southampton was supposed to go to, you know, Jenk. But the two players rejected the deal, so that deal is called off. Yes, this is coming from our own star, our own star boy Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling, he's been speaking after the game yesterday. He said, I had a bit of frustration last season. I was always coming with my back to go <laughs> a bit deep and wasn't given a chance to get towards the box. I had a conversation with the manager last week, and that is why my performance improved. It's good you have a conversation with your manager and you tell him your actual position, you want, where you want to play, play, where you fit in, where you think you can deliver best. Even... Pochettino also made a similar statement that he always wants to hear from the players to know their right positions. Yeah, and I think the, the result is what we are seeing, positive results from their performance yesterday. Positive result. Todd Bolle directly involved in talks to sell 30-year-old Chelsea star link to Tottenham and West Ham. I think I read that to you already. The deal about Romelu Lukaku is taking place today. The two executives are going to be meeting Thiago Pinto and Todd Bolly are going to be meeting today in London to trash out the final details of that deal. As, as a matter of fact, a lot of deals are taking place today, Saturday. Between now and next week, a lot of things are going to be happening. So let's watch out. Remember, matches are ongoing. I would not like to waste your time. Manchester United, their match is about to start. Tottenham is leading two goals to nil. I wish you good luck wherever you are. Happy weekend. I will come your way if there's any breaking news. Trust me. That's why I always want you to subscribe to the channel on that notification button. Send us your comments. We would love to hear from you. Shalom and peace.